Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gaming with me, Tony Mo, and we are here today, late, late at night, at the beginning of what I like to call Iniquity Hour. This is the time of day when all the iniquities come out to play and work and do the things that they like to do. It's not a safe time for us humans, but I'm braving the night, I'm braving Iniquity Hour, so I can bring you guys a bit of a late night live commentary. Now, actually, guys, my plan was to do a live commentary and give the whole Firestar only thing a go. And I actually did that. You're going to be seeing that gameplay in the background. Didn't do so well, but one thing that I've discovered doing this whole Firestar only challenge, plus the whole A only challenge, is that some of you guys on both the PC and on Xbox One, you might want to take a look at your sensitivities and spend some time working on your aim, because I don't think I've ever survived the gauntlets I've survived. Like I survived in, the, in those last two challenge games I played, man. And I've actually done a couple other Firestar only games just to experiment in Pilots vs. Pilots. And, I mean, I'm in, like, the middle of, like, five, six guys sometimes. Could have killed all of them. And I'm just dodging and weaving, waiting for a Firestar to recharge. It's just kind of funny, I guess, when you don't really ever stop at all. Or even when you, I guess, even take a millisecond to engage somebody. Apparently, it makes you easier to kill. Because as soon as I'm not shooting people, it's like the game doesn't let people kill me. Or everybody just all of a sudden sucks at shooting. Anyway, it was hilarious. You'll see quite a bit of that in the footage. But of course, today I want to talk a little bit about that small teaser trailer we got for tomorrow's trailer. Which will, of course, reveal the DLC that we'll get next Tuesday. Which is all pretty exciting. I don't typically do one for the little teaser trailer. But because I did want to show off the Fire Star only gameplay... I figured we could talk a little bit about it and break down some of the stuff that we see in the little Twitter teaser. Of course, the AWOL execution is showing up, and I have to say, I'm actually pretty happy with this one. I know a lot of people wanted the AWOL to, like, cut people in half, but instead, the guy throws the AWOL disc at the back of an enemy player's head. He turns around like, you what, mate? And then he presumably shoots him in the face through it, which is fine and dandy by me. And if there's, like, a smirk and a funny emote at the end, that'd be double thumbs up to respawn. Now, one of the funniest things about Respawn's trailers is that they always like to show off a variety of weapons that most players don't ever bother using. I think we see, like, the Devotion in there, uh, the Double Takes in there, the Smart Pistols in there, because they just... I'm, I swear, dude, they like trolling us, man. They just... It's smart... It's Maybe it's Josh. They just like to troll us. The trailers always just come across like that. You know what? I'm okay with that. It really does crack me up. The big thing to talk about here, though, of course, out of this entire little teaser, is the map that we see. Now... A part of me initially wanted to say a live fire map, right? Because we see some of the same design aesthetics that we saw on stacks. But when we just kind of look at the overall scale of the map and like the shape of some of these center openings, this looks like a brand new map, guys. Like a full on brand new map. And you know what? If it is, I think it looks sexy, man. Like big, we got some long wall run corridors with some big openings for you to kind of transfer across with some, you know, small interior spaces. I mean, this could be another great original map. And I'd love to see them take inspiration from their live fire maps, not just from Glitch, to come up with something different for us. And if they do that, man, this is going to be one kick-ass DLC because, I mean, the maps really do make the Titanfall experience, which is why when you play on Glitch, it's such a different ball game. It's just you feel like you're playing a different experience. And part of me always wondered if... If they were more consistent with their map design in Titanfall 2, would that alone help more people stay with the game long term? And part of me thinks they would have. But regardless, whatever this map's going to be, I'm really stoked about it. Now, of course, we're also hopefully going to be getting that Onyx banner for Iniquity. This is something that, you know, uh, wasn't able to get pushed in the last update. If you guys don't know about that, of course, uh, Onyx was Iniquity's dog that passed away. And they made an awesome little banner in game. So if you guys want to rep some respect for, for good old Onyx, good old boy Onyx. Uh, you can fly that banner, hopefully, tomorrow. Now, we don't really know about new cosmetic skins. Everything's going to be revealed to us tomorrow. Like I said, I'm not going to ramble any further than that. I really did want to just take a quick look at this for you guys. Get a little bit of late-night hype going. And and go out into the darkness and brave the night during Iniquity Hour. You know what? i got to be honest. <laughs> I recorded that live commentary, what is it, five, ten minutes ago now? And, uh, you know, Iniquity always jokes about, number one, I mean, he always uses grapple. We know that. Number two about having not so good aim. He's very modest about that. I think his aim's all right. But it was funny to be playing during what I call iniquity hour, having all these people miss me all the time. 
somehow able to survive like 16 dudes with alternators and still kill one of them with a fire star at the end of the day. So maybe there's something to what he's talking about. Maybe you guys have been hanging out with the Nikwiti and the Purple Army too much. Your grappling skills are through the roof, but your aim is, is down in the gutters. And you gotta work on killing that guy who's trying to troll you with the fire star only kills. We're gonna go ahead and leave it at that, dudes. There's not too much else to talk about with this. Tomorrow, I will be doing my typical breakdown of the trailer. And then, of course, hopefully, next Tuesday, as they've been doing recently for the last, like, three updates, we'll be able to get our hands on this new DLC. Um, I'd love for there to be some surprises in there. I mean, a new map is a surprise, but what else can they pull out of their rabbit's hat over at Respawn? Is there anything else they've been toiling away at for multiple months that is finally finished? You know, they did Frontier Defense, obviously. That was a big relief for them, so is this the opportunity now to, to show us some of the other cool stuff that they were, you know, really grinding away on with that with that team in the background and finally drop it into the game? I really hope it is. And I'd love to hear your thoughts, guys, in the little teaser. You know, if there's anything else you managed to extract out of there. I was trying to look at some of the weapon camos that we see, but honestly, I don't I don't know the camos visually enough. It almost looked like there's a devotion in there, right? I think that's the devotion with a unique camo. Um, with a camo that I haven't seen before. So we could potentially be looking at one of the new camos right there. Again, unless one of you guys just goes ahead and calls it out. So I hope you guys have a great freaking night. We're definitely going to make that Firestar only challenge live commentary style happen sometime soon. I'm experimenting with other ways to do it, like potentially throwing in Spicy Boys ticks like I did there. Maybe we'll call it the Spicy Firestar Challenge. I don't know, but keep an eye out for it. And of course, stay locked and loaded tomorrow for that full trailer for the next piece of Titanfall DLC. I hope you guys have a great night. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, remember to play smart, remember to play to challenge yourself, but most importantly, remember to play for fun.